Hello, I'm David Reeves with Esri's AEC team. And today, I'm going to show you how to use ArcGIS Pro to gather data from many sources to generate existing conditions for a project site. I'll share the data with engineers and designers using the new Autodesk integrations available in Civil 3D, InfoWorks, and AutoCAD. We'll be able to share points, lines, and polygons shared through ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. ArcGIS Enterprise users can also easily share your imagery and elevation services to Autodesk users. Besides your own data, your engineers and designers will be able to access any data that's been shared publicly from project partners, stakeholders, as well as cities, counties, and regulatory agencies who also use ArcGIS. Now I'll start in ArcGIS Pro by adding in my GIS data that shows the existing underground water and sewer utilities for a project site. Now to get a better idea of where I am, I'll switch the built-in base map to our imagery layer. Now besides my own data, I can browse ArcGIS Online for publicly shared data. The city of Littleton, Colorado shares a lot of their data sets through ArcGIS Online. And since ArcGIS Pro is connected to ArcGIS Online, I can search for the official layers from the city and choose to add them to my map. I'll search for parcels, find the layer, and add it in. I've got a mixture of local data and hosted data. Now your license for Pro also includes access to the Living Atlas of the World, a huge collection of curated, authoritative data from trusted sources. Now I'll use these flood hazard areas from FEMA. Back in ArcGIS Pro, I'll search for the floodplains and add it into my map. What I'm doing is looking for any layers that designers and engineers could use to help them design more efficiently or even more sustainably. I can see my parcels in that nearby flood hazard area. I'd like to confirm that I'm adding relevant data to the correct project site. Luckily, ArcGIS Pro can easily read AutoCAD, Civil 3D, and Revit models, so I can find any preliminary designs and add them to my map without having to convert them. It looks like we're in the right spot. Once the design is finalized, I'll bring in the updates and convert them to GIS for construction management. For now, I'm ready to share this as a web map to ArcGIS Online. Moments later, my web map is ready and can be opened up in a browser or a smartphone or even Civil 3D as we'll see later. Now I can share this with anyone in my organization so that they are aware of the existing conditions on site. Using pop-ups to understand the layers with the ability to change the base map even add bookmarks of important locations on site. Once I've added intuitive symbology and labels for my users, I'm ready to save this map and then share it out. Now by default, it's shared privately just to yourself, but I could open up sharing to my organization or even a specific group of users like my engineers. This red tail site conditions group is what I'm gonna to use to share this map with other users. Here in this group, I can see all the different layers and imagery and web maps that are shared. I'll invite my engineers to this group so that they can access this data for the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS. They will need at least a viewer user type in order to access this data. These web maps can also be opened in the field to verify asset conditions and populate dashboards that coordinate data collection and communication between the office and the field.